In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you a feature that very few other applications can replicate. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you Evernote's pretty much unique feature and that is their business card scanning feature. Now this is a feature that I don't see very much news about. I don't see very many blog posts or videos on this particular feature and yet to me this is one of Evernote's killer features because it can save you so much time and indeed it can also help you with your storage and that's storage of name cards. Now I know these days name cards are going out of fashion a little bit but most people still carry a name card. I certainly have them and although in this particular episode I'm going to show you using a name card that I was using years ago and I discovered and I thought I would show you again but the reality is that these name card scanning application in Evernote is such a brilliant tool and it just automatically files everything for you. It's just so simple. So I'm going to show you how to set that up today but before we do that I would just like to say if you like this episode please click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Evernote on my iPhone and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so what we do is we place the name card on the table, make sure you've got a good contrasty background and click photos and then just scan the name card. Now Evernote is very smart sometimes but not always and in this case it hasn't detected the type of document so you click on the document at the bottom, select business card and it will do its stuff like here and now it's entered all the details we need. Okay so now that we've scanned the Evernote we scanned the name card into Evernote. What we see here is it comes up with the title Calpoline Business Card and now it will come up with my name and I can edit that if it didn't quite get it right because some name cards are not always easy to read. It's got the title that I had and it's got the name of the company. So you can edit these however way you wish to do at any time. Of course you can edit the email address and you can edit the phone number. You can also add notes in this field and it saves a copy of the note of the uh, particular um, the, the name card itself. So you actually have everything you need right there. So the name card is in and you've got all these fun functions here because it's recognizing it as a name card. So all the details that you need will be put there. Other information that it pulls out of the name card will also be added in here. Now as I say some, you can add a picture if you wish, you can just drop a picture in there if you wish. Uh, there's all sorts of things that you can do and then you can label it as in you may want to label it as a name card or business card uh, or you may have a notebook as I do called name cards that I just keep all my name cards in there. That means all I have to do if I click on J, uh, command J I can just type Carl Pauline and there you go it comes up Carl Pauline business card. I can hit that and it takes me straight to the note. So that is one of the reasons why I find that Evernote name card or business card uh, scanning app is such a powerful tool because I no longer need to keep name cards because I know I'm not going to be moving from Evernote to any other application in the near future. So I can keep all my name cards in there and it is just a wonderful reference tool because Evernote is with me wherever I go. It's on my phone, it's on my iPad and of course it's on my computers. So that is one of, another reason and I did cover that in the 10 reasons why you should be using Evernote in 2019. This is one of the most powerful reasons why you would be you should be using Evernote right now and into next year. No other application, particularly notes application, has this function as far as I know. So that is, and as I say, 
This is just a no-brainer to me, as I used before. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Working with Evernote. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.